Welcome back, everybody. It's time for Life Made Easy, and today we're bringing you another edition of Foods You Can Freeze. Ta da! <laughs> um, which actually has become a, one of our most popular segments for uh, um, uh, Life Made Easy. Absolutely. So people really enjoy freezing food by, the, <laughs> by the, the way the letters come in. Absolutely. It's fantastic. So the first thing I want to talk about is pesto, because a lot of times you get pesto, you open the jar, you do a little something with it, you throw it in the, in the back of the, fr uh, the fridge, yeah. it ends up going bad, and you throw it out. Absolutely. So if you're making a huge batch, right, what we always say is just go uh, and put it into little ice, uh, I was going to say ice cream containers. Uh, uh, ice cube these cups. are little ice cube containers, yep. right? Flash freeze them. After you've frozen them, then they, you can put them into little resealable bags like we've done here. They're already starting to melt. Okay. And these are fantastic if you're making like little pesto sandwiches or something like that, right, guys? You pop one out, you put it on a little sandwich, and you haven't sort of spoiled an, an entire jar. So you're just using a small amount of it, yeah, and you can all. control how much you use. Yeah. So there's no way. I think the whole thing that everybody is, um, I, I think the whole thing that everybody likes about this is the fact that this is a great way to not waste food. Exactly. I think when you yeah. can freeze, when you find out what you can freeze, and you're not going to waste that item. For sure. And this can sit in your freezer for six months in a resealable bag. Awesome. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. okay. Awesome. Next one, guys, pasta. I didn't know this. No, no, no. But uh, a lot of times with pasta, I know we do it all the time. Yeah. You sort of cook an, enough for you know for the for what you for want one to eat for or that two evening. People, yeah. And then you have little bits in the bag or at the end of the box. They kind of sit in the back of the cupboard. You end up throwing it out after a while. You That's know? a waste. It's a waste. So you know what? Cook the whole box. Cook the whole bag. Yeah. Cook it al dente. Uh, it has to be al dente. Has we talked about this earlier. Yeah, we did. Has to be al dente. Or yes. It's not worth no, eating. Exactly. <laughs> Drizzle it with olive oil, guys, and then just put it in a resealable bag like we've done here. Yeah. Throw it in your freezer, and this will last up to two weeks. You know. Wow. Even okay. a little bit longer. Yeah. And this is great, especially if you, if you have kids that are sort of on different schedules. And you want to make just a little bit of pasta, just heat it quickly, throw yeah. some sauce on, and you got pasta. It's there. also great for lunches if you don't have yeah. a lunch plan. Just grab that pasta, grab a little bit of sauce. One. By the time it gets to work, it's going yeah. to uh, it's gonna be thawed out. This one, Chris and I do I all the time. I am addicted to frozen grapes. I love them. Fantastic. Just it's a great snack. Instead of chips or popcorn, which is what I, that's my go-to. Tell him, yeah. I had been freezing these. I've lost yeah. a couple of pounds because of it. Oh, they're so good. Put them into a resealable bag. These will last up to three to four months. Fantastic for kids as well in the summer, because instead of popsicles or any kind of sugary things like that, mm -hmm. frozen grapes are oh, fantastic. They're so, so sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I love them. Uh, Your mom used to do this. This one a great one as well. Uh, mom used to do this all the time. Remember she used to make pancakes on the weekend, make these massive batches, right? Yeah. Absolutely, and yeah, yeah. And then she'd yeah. freeze them. And then she'd freeze them because then, you know, we'd always want pancakes, you know, in the morning or at different times, whatever. So she used to make like a whole huge batch of them. You put them on a little tray, guys. You flash freeze them. Then you put them into a resealable bag. Now, yeah. make sure that they are frozen before you put them in here. Otherwise, you'll get one massive hamburger. Okay, so wait, like if you, if you pile them up, they stick together. When they're hot, oh yeah. Here's your pancake, boom. They're, they're, yeah. <laughs> and then, you know what? When the kids are at different schedules, whatever, you just pop them in a toaster oven yeah. and, uh, or a toaster, and you've got frozen pancakes for up to three months. Great idea. Awesome. Yeah. Really good. Add some fabulous to your life with Stephen and Chris. Weekdays at 9 p.m., 8 p.m. Central on the Live Well Network. Go to livewellnetwork.com and click on Choose Your City to find the Live Well Network in your area.